Feeling chilly? As winter approaches, temperatures are dropping in many parts of the world. Those of you who drive EVs might notice that charging takes longer. The range may also get shorter. But why exactly do electric cars perform less effectively in cold weather? Hi, I'm Dr. C. Welcome to CATL Tech Explainer. Today we're diving into how EVs perform in cold weather. So wrap up warm and let's go. EVs are sensitive to cold for two main reasons. First, energy consumption. Cold weather causes changes in external environment. Think icy roads and freezing temperatures. Your car has to use more energy while you drive to fight forces like rolling resistance and wind drag, both of which increase in the winter. More energy is also consumed during to increase heating. No surprises here. During winter, you'll probably use your car's heating functions more, therefore using more energy. The second reason is the effect of cold temperatures on lithium batteries. Cold temperatures slow down chemical reactions and reduce energy retention. For example, at minus 20 degrees Celsius, resistance can be 100 times higher than at 25 degrees Celsius. This makes it tough for the lithium ions to move, reducing the battery's performance. Together, these factors explain why your EV doesn't perform as well in winter. Now, the important part. How do we solve this? CATL has a few solutions. Since lithium ions struggle to move in low temperatures, we decided to help them out. CATL addresses this issue from these three angles. First, we speed things up by using ultra-ionic graphite. This builds a kind of highway for the ions and shortens their travel distance. This boosts lithium insertion speed by 35%. Second, we add more lanes to that highway by using a lithium conductive binder. This opens up more pathways and lets lithium ions move faster and more evenly. This increases negative electro movement speed by 10%. Third, we clear the obstacles by adding new components to the electrolyte, reducing its viscosity by 50%. This boosts ion conductivity and helps lithium ions insert faster. Our new electrolyte performs just as well in cold temperatures as others do in room temperature. Cold weather is undeniably a pain point for EV users. Our job is to eliminate that pain. Let's look at the performance of our Shenxing low temperature battery and CATL Freevoice Super Hybrid battery in low temperature tests. The Shenxing low temperature battery easily outputs 298 kilowatt at minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's even in a low temperature discharge state. This is comparable to a 2.0 T gasoline engine. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, it can charge up to 80% in just 30 minutes. CATL Freevoice Super Hybrid Battery can discharge in extreme cold at minus 40 degrees Celsius, charge at minus 30 degrees Celsius, and still maintain strong power at minus 20 degrees Celsius. It does this with the support of the sodium iron battery technology. With these low temperature resistant batteries, you can go out whenever you want in winter. You might need to wrap up warm, but for your EV, extreme cold is no longer a problem. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining our CATL Tech Explainer. Stay curious and keep powering forward.